Hi, Aries. It's L here to do your weekly reading. Thank you for being here. Thank you for liking, sharing, commenting, and subscribing to the channel. It means a lot. Please continue to do so. Let's get into it. Thank you, God, for blessing Aries with a clear, concise message from you. Okay. When I was shuffling, I first started shuffling the deck, I heard ESP. All right. So some of you could be having some like, uh, you know, telepathy, um, mental, uh, psychic type of you know download a psychic i don't know something psychic happened here esp let's see what's going on for the aquarius excuse me i said aquarius the aries collective all right could be dealing with um an aquarius okay so the knight of pentacles you could travel for work drive long distances or you are you're going around and presenting something presenting yourself and you're waiting for the offer so this could be interviewing okay you could be getting an offer. It's taken a while or it has taken a while. Let's see what is going on here for my Aries collective. The nine of cups, you will get what you want. Okay. The five of cups. Um, all right. So what is this about? Looks like there's disappointment, discontentment. Be careful what you wish or you know, what you wish for. You might have wished for somebody to come back in your life or an opportunity with this person, but they still want the same thing from you, sex. They still want you as the hidden woman or the woman in the background. Yeah. The Ace of Cups. Secrecy. Secrecy. This You shed a lot of tears or somebody shed a lot of tears over this. You know, um, this relationship might be pushing you towards um, spirituality or you need to get some type of level of spirituality or some modality. You need to really start to ask the questions and get answers as to why, you know, um, it's bringing somebody into depression. Somebody's not getting what they want. They're hoping for They're in high hopes, nine of swords, having to come to a place of. Realizing that something is not going to turn out. Let's see what this is about. Yeah, realizing that somebody's n never going to stop, you know, coming after them for sex or opportunity or, you know, just in and out type of connection, in and out relationship. This is also some of you being fearful that your manifestation is not going to come, but it's going to come. You're going to get what you want. You're going to get some type of offer, promotion, opportunity to make a move here. It's going to come to you quickly. Some of you could this even could be travel, world travel. There's some masculine energy. It's very powerful in your life that offers you opportunity to make the move or you can call on him to for help. This person may come to you and, yeah, profess something to you. I don't know if this is more like promises that we're going to be together, promises that we're going to run away together, that, you know, I'm going to leave her, the two of pentacles, but they're telling you that, you know, it's a lot going on and there's more work to do and I got to do this and do that. I don't know if somebody's just, you know, stringing you along here. Uh, Ten of Wands and Seven of Pentacles. It's like you like you're like. When is this going to actually happen? When are you going to be available? When is it going to happen? When are you going to make the move? When are you going to move? Yeah, the, the lovers. When are you going to have this life altering, you know, event happen for you? Make the choice to leave. Make the choice of me. Especially speaking to some of you who are the other woman or, yeah. Yeah, the Ten of Cups and the King of Wands is like, with the um, temperance is like someone saying, I have to act like I'm happy in this marriage. Somebody's wealthy here. Someone doesn't want to give up the wealth or the money that they're, you know, married to. 
the position, the prestige. Yeah, someone's not willing to walk away or they don't want to walk away. They feel like walking away for love is not enough. Yeah, four of wands. Somebody could be moving. Bless your move, your home. Relocating, redecorating, remodeling. What is going on for Aries? What's happening for Aries? Okay, grief work. So maybe needing to do the work of letting something go. Volunteer. Yeah, letting something go. You need to volunteer exactly how you feel. Say how you feel. Talk to somebody who's trusted. Windfall. Maybe of money. You know, good opportunity. It looks like something comes into you, but you're kind of worried about it. Decisions. Take the next step now. You may be asking someone to do that. They're asking you to keep the faith. Uh, finances could be, you know, an issue. This is why they're saying they can't make the, the alteration in their life, the change. Because finances are an issue. They don't want to let go of their position. Um, they're trying to make some clear, sober decision before they actually let this go or they leave their marriage they're trying to get some second opinion or they're trying to you know start something new it's so self-employment yeah come out yeah they're trying to make sure that they're clear sobriety and end of era before they actually leave or they have some clear well thought out plan this is what I have for you, Aries. If it resonates, let me know how it resonates down in the comment section. Go over to the website and book your own reading there. Ask a question or two by texting it to the number below. You can also donate to the channel by clicking the Buy Ella Coffee link. Thank you. Many blessings to you. Take care.